Good morning grade 8. I hope you are all well. Today we are mocking the rest of the answers of the short stories and folklore in the back of your script. Please ensure that you have all the answers and please complete and do corrections where necessary. It is very important that we complete this section based on short stories and folklore. I am sure you have read the stories. You have answered the questions and you are now able to mark your, your answers. The first one for today, the clever wife. Number one, his goats. Number two, what is the fastest thing in the world? Number three, the old man's daughter Zia. Number four, the answer is time. Five, captivated. Six, not to get involved in any of the cases brought to him by the people. Number seven, palm wine. And number eight, to take the chief to her house, as he said that she could take anything from his home. She chose him. The second story, Lacedi and the Lion. Number one, cattle. Two, a lion had killed a cow. Number three is the word raw. Number four, he knew in his heart that the men would kill it. Number five, he asked if he would watch out for the hunters while he drinks water. Six, the donkey. Number seven, brave and intelligent. Eight, he trapped him for a second time. And nine, that he was almost eaten. The miller, his son and the donkey. Number one, he did not have enough money and had to sell his donkey. Number two, the boy should ride the donkey all the way to town. Number three, the boy should walk and the old man should ride the donkey instead. Four, that the old man and his son should both ride the donkey to town. Five, they should get off the donkey and carry the donkey to town. Six, the log snapped and the donkey fell into the river. Number seven, it died. And eight, not to listen to everyone else's opinion. I leave the narrow path. Number one, Keta. Number two, at the library. Number three, they were playing a board game and gambling. Number four, number 14. Five, his school fees, it was long overdue. Six, he walked all the way home. And seven, that he played the game and lost all the money. The next story, the jackass penguin. Number one, it was a rainy day and it was cold outside. Number two, a sharp cry. Three, a jackass penguin. Four, a large dark bird with thick white skin over his eyes. Five, from the harbour. Six, they should take it back to where she had found it. Seven, she knew he would not be able to survive by himself. And then number eight is your own answer. The answers to our second last story for today. Number one, his weekly wages. Number two, the young men. Number three, they were next to the high wall of the convent and on the opposite side, one could see the wasteland. Number four, they thought he had passed away. Five, they threw it underneath a station lorry. Six, people arise, the world is dead. And the answers to our last story for today, Kevin and Sordi. Number one, the city of Belfast. Number two, Catholic and Protestant. Number three, Kevin's sister. Number four, half past seven. Number five, the night before he got beaten up. Number six, Mr. Kelly outside the scrapyard. Number seven, because of Sordi's community. And number eight, your own answer.